Hey, what's up everyone? This is Conrad for Hashtag South Africa. I'm reporting to you from Ganesa, Northwest Province. I'm trying to keep my faith. We on a ultra light beam. We on a ultra light beam. It's been quite a progressive past uh, two weeks. Um, taking a, some final, finally I'm taking some time to sit and chat to you guys about what's going on and you know a lot of you've been asking you know what's up with your post where you're at what's going you know what's 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 down in the northwest province so you know the the provincial government appointed us to assist them in boosting the awareness of what they're doing so they've been doing this for the for several years now and uh it's quite great that hashtag south africa as a company can be here and capture the essence of the event it's a cultural festival that takes place on the 24th of september but the build-up is uh, auditions, so it's kind of like idols. It's giving the chance to uh, local community and people to gather and get together in all their different regions and, uh, and in all their communities. So this is like live dance, entertainment, speech and drama, poetry. Uh, it's pretty amazing, you know. You know, 23 years after democracy, um, you know, before that people were gathering in their communities and now it's good to see that government is taking an effort to build the citizen morale and get people together. Um, it's been quite a progressive journey. There are so many people that came through to this event here in Ganesa. Uh, these are young kids and uh, aspiring artists and established artists, uh, all been auditioning for their talents and, you know, just to look at their faces and see their smiles and the purity. You know, when we live in these me in our metropolitan cities, you know, we sometimes forget the true essence of, you know, people and culture and community. Um, it's it, for many of you that haven't really left your cities, you know, it can be a bit of a, a culture shock just driving a few hours from your state or from your province, wherever you are, um, and embrace and capture the essence of the people. And what I'm trying to do at Hashtag South Africa and what we are doing, so what we're trying to do, uh, is go out there, record these videos, share the messages, uh, create more awareness of what's happening in these communities. There's so many economic development and infrastructure opportunities out there. There's roads being built. There's new shops being opened up. There's new trades. And a lot of it I see local as well as international people are here. So as South Africans, guys, let's make these opportunities. Look at the nine provinces of South Africa and get involved in any way. You know, uh, five, six years now with this company and it's growing and gaining the awareness that it needs. Um, and one of the main points of this, doing these videos is not just for myself and educating you so that... Uh, when people come to join and work for Hashtag South Africa, they get to understand the morale of what we're about. You know, deploying people into areas and provinces to go and capture these messages and content. Most importantly, to educate people. Uh, we're not just here to be one-sided with the camera, uh, but we're also giving back. There's going to be a skills workshop taking place uh, in this coming week for the build-up of the festival. We're going to try and see what we can capture. Uh, got some cool video interviews and, and uh, auditions that took place. Uh, but what I'm really fun to see is the uptake. You know, we are the digital connected. You're watching this video, you know, you are connected. But there's so there's there's millions of people out there across this planet that are still off this grid. And uh, we will try and we will always persevere and continue to ensure that people jump onto these opportunities, that they can educate themselves and learn to become the people that they're meant to be. You know, uh, we have artists and musicians and all these people uh, to try and get a place in their spheres of society. And there are many other people out there, those that uh, are not too, those that don't want to come in front of the camera, those that are not looking for the attention, those that are there to do service delivery or, or take care of fostering of people or educating school kids. Every South African can be a part of this development plan. And most importantly, guys, uh, it's not just something hypothetical. You know, it's 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 quite a privilege and and a blessing to be born after this apartheid era. To be born in a South Africa where we're free, where we're liberated, where we can engage, and also that we can be a part of the building of our future. Try, uh, you know, uh, you can try and go and implement yourselves in a lot of these first world countries, but there are institutions there for hundreds of years and, and large based businesses that are doing it for a long time. And yes, technology is gonna cause a ripple effect and destruct, uh, disrupt those industries. Uh, and this is just my effort here in South Africa. Know that 2030 is its goal, 13 years to go. Um, establishing this company very strong here in South Africa, that's my goal now in the next two years, so that I can be freed up to do more things uh, that, I, that I want to do as desires. Um, 
and wants and achievements as well um, you know um, I'm going to be releasing my book very soon uh, hopefully to get those on shelves before uh, end of the year let's see how that goes uh, but I'm really enjoying this progressive journey you know when I started out and I read out this national development plan um, and just as you know a day of an entrepreneur every day used to be a struggle and some days it's less but you overcome you persevere you pioneer you push through you know there's so many dark days and dark moments and you can you can either uh, destroy you and, and make you want to go and, and do something else but stay focused out there you know stay grounded uh, you know I make reference to uh, to biblical tests I'm sure when King David um, had the ideas and concepts to build God's temple he didn't build it but he sunned it but he prepared all the plans and preparations and gathered uh, the provinces and kings and and supply of products to ensure that that next generation will be able to fulfill so live a life of purpose live knowing that uh, live with this understanding of 300 okay there's 300 years the hundred years before us the hundred years after us as well as the hundred years that you're gonna live so try and adapt something bigger than yourself and every single person on the south has that opportunity we are not slaves anymore we are not limited and restricted yes there might be new forms of systems of control but we as people are far more aware and alert than ever before we're living in the intellectual age we're living in the age of understanding and also implementation where everyone has a chance to be a part of developing our earth climate change is also real you know these are things that we need to take into consideration to ensure that our future generations are safe so guys you know uh, being born in this time you can choose just to sit back relax you know get a job get your salary take your holiday once a year go buy those fancy shoes or whatever it may be or do something bigger than yourself you know uh, i would have really liked if if we captured more content at this event even though we've captured quite a lot over 30 videos but there's so many different elements to a venue to a room that needs to be captured ca needs to be embraced the essence you know you watch movie productions and, and at some point you know we'll probably do a video in hollywood uh, and they always try and build up an environment for you when someone walks into a room all those little things placed in a room you know the cups the sauces the windows the curtains the tiles the outfit the pocket scarf all those attention to detail now what we're doing is we're not trying to create those type of settings but we're going into the reality into the real world to show you what's actually happening out there and uh, it's a road uh, very few take and uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to be on this journey I was given an opportunity this coming week uh, to go to the United Nations I was invited to the United Nations General Assembly guys this is this is this is huge you know someone started a business with a hundred rand five years ago uh, but due to logistics and um, and so forth, I was not able to go. But I did send someone on my behalf who's who's sitting in my place. There's going to be videos coming from there as well pretty soon. Um, I was also invited to go to China as well to represent South Africa and you know capture the essence of what's going on at a, on a diplomatic level. But uh, I turned down that opportunity to be here in South Africa and to be in the Northwest Province. You know. Uh, the name Taung it means a place of the of, of the lion you know a resting place of the lion and it's quite nice to know that uh, one of my first journeys outside of metropolitan to rural part of South Africa is uh, uh, something close uh, to my star sign close to uh, how I feel about myself you know a lion out there if there's one thing that you do in your life and if there's one thing that you want to fulfill fulfill that dream you might be work 20 30 years five years 10 years in a position and you feel that uh, there's more to life there is more and I want you to go and seek and find that ground yourself in what principles and and purposes you want to fulfill and get it accomplished never say there's not enough hours in the day maybe try waking up a little bit earlier or maybe try going to bed a little bit later and make use of those effective hours and days I can't wait uh, wait to wake up in the morning each day is something new getting calls or getting emails or, or getting invited into certain environments that I never was before even though I've known they've always existed when I started this company I mapped out you know all the whole the whole infrastructure understanding of South Africa the geographical locations of the country and all of that learning and teachings that I that I taught myself over the years I now see it coming into action and this is it taking place uh, 
all these videos I do will also be for my staff so that they can learn and understand, so they can capture the essence of what's going on. Guys, it's up to us to make that difference. It's up to us to, to be that change. So um, I'm really enjoying uh, how 2017 is turning out. Quite a progressive year, one of the fastest years. You know, uh, looking forward to see how the rest of these months are going to be. Uh, turning 31, um, I wouldn't say it's been a shift of mind, but it's been a it's been a moment of maturity, and growing up. Uh, you know, building, uh, focusing on trying to grow more and more, but also just loving the, uh, you know, the life, giving the opportunity to just engage with different people and you know making new friends something that I always uh, always enjoy so uh, this has been a more relaxed chill video um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, thank you for always watching and supporting thank you for your messages your calls of support guys I really appreciate it yeah, you don't understand how much uh, so stay focused stay out there and uh, know that whatever you're doing it's only at the end that everything comes together so uh, this is Conrad signing out from Ganisa Northwest province I'll probably see you guys back in Johannesburg um, Thank you for enjoying and watching these videos. Welcome to the Hashtag South Africa show.